Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the periods of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead. Final. Let's go ahead and get into our terror reading. We have a queen of wands here that may be with a, a, a higher fin energy behind the scenes. Maybe these two are married with the fact that I am seeing the higher fin out here, which, typ which typically has to do with being in like a traditional marriage, traditional religion or uh, relationship. The higher fin are people that are traditionally minded institutions that are traditionally minded. They do things in the upright and stuff like that with this queen of wands. Coming with a higher fan, followed by the devil. This is not someone that's in the upright. This is someone that pretends to be orthodox. This is someone that pretends to be religious, but she's really devilish and very impulsive. This is someone that's reckless in a lot of ways. And she keeps coming out in the reeds. And every time she comes out, the same thing keeps coming out about her. Someone has been pretending to be religious for a long time. And this is something that goes back into their lineage. The mother is the same. The father is the same. Everybody in the family is the same. They do this because of the public eye. Is this a tower? This is coming to an end. They do this for the public to see them in some type of way, right? So this could be people that are influential on TV or maybe in the public eye or something, or maybe it's because of the pe person that they are in some type of commitment with. So this could be like an institution or she could be married to a higher fan that is in the upright. And maybe he married this woman thinking that she was in the upright, but she's not. This is someone with a lot of toxic and karmic ways over indulges in things may sleep around with this night of wands out here. Someone is very reckless with her body, uh, things like that. She may be sending some type of energy towards you or she's taking some type of action right to dismantle some type of love offer or block some type of love offer because she does not want you and someone coming together is that she wants a masculine to see her as the twin flame he does not see her as a twin flame so the fact that he sees you or he may want to come towards you to give you an offer because he's left this woman okay there's something where he has left a woman whoever this queen of wands is and he's coming towards you or he's just moving on with his life to start over brand new. Like someone is taking time to recover. She does not want him coming towards you. So she's taking some type of action to interfere with the two of you coming together. She said, no marriages. I want them. I want them trapped. She's trapped in her mind. She's like, this woman is unhinged. Someone is unhinged. Someone thought their beauty was all there was. And this woman keeps coming up in my reads. Someone could be very pretty, but there's nothing below the surface. Nothing of substance. You can't talk to this person about anything. All they do is manipulate. All they do is play mind games and pretend to be what? Someone that's modest. She ain't modest. I'm telling you. This woman is not modest. Maybe Mary out here living like a bachelor, up to no good, doing rituals. And things like that. All she does is throw energy to cause what endings in people's life. She's going to have to move on. There's something where this woman is plotting in order to block two people from coming together. And she's going to have to move on. No more illusions and things like that. Because whoever she's coming towards, they know what action this woman is going to take. The person that's leaving her as well maybe understands now how dangerous or how manipulative. Yeah, he knows. He knows what this woman has been investing in behind the scenes. And this is why he's walking away from her. Maybe going towards a queen of pentacles. This woman works with either a mother figure, a sister, or some friend in the family or around her to help her defeat, right? Someone else's commitment, someone else's works, something like they partner up together with this woman showing up as the queen of pentacles. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like her mother or a longtime friend, something like that. They've been working together to defeat someone else's work. And this could be a queen of cups. They've been, they've been coming to words, but things are still moving in the upright, in the forward, uh, in the forward direction for this queen of cups. So this is leading to some type of loss for this queen of wands because what? 
she and this queen of pentacles because she does not understand how something is still moving forward kind of think of like a platform someone going in and tempering with numbers and things that they're paying people behind the scenes to hold your platform back right but it's like whatever they do the platform is still growing maybe it's not growing as fast as it would have initially when you started it but it's still growing considerably and it's pissing her off because she does not want people seeing you she may not want this masculine being aware she may have even been stealing from you to make it seem like it was her work so someone has been stealing someone's intellectual property then if the public see you they'll know that this woman didn't create what it is that she created she's what she said she created she's been lying that she created it right someone is basically in competition with you to be you you don't know them never met them never saw them never talked to them tower this is the truth it's still moving forward uh, so someone is in competition with you to be you and all of this is coming to an end. You are still good. You are still moving forward. You are still victorious. You're still going to be receiving an offer, still healing. And it has her burden and way down, burden and way down that you're going to be happy. You're going to have a family. You're going to have everything and have this new beginning. No longer out in the cold, right? King of Pentacles coming towards you to give you an offer because he sees you as an empress. I'm telling you, he's coming in to give you an offer, balancing something out in your life so you can have this new beginning. Someone finds you to be very intellectual, very wise, and he may feel like he has a calling or a contract with you, sees you as a higher level soulmate. He sees you as someone very genuine, okay? You and this man may have some type of uh, a connection that goes back past lifetime. Like you two used to... There's a lifetime where you and this man may have even been around each other from the time you were kids, right? Um, and you grew up to either end up together or something like that. This is someone who is a very high level soulmate, a very high ranking official, maybe something like that. And she's bothered by this, that this man has decided to come towards you, okay? Um, but there is something where it's that people have been helping her. There could be a king of swords in her life that has been working with her. Yeah, there's a king of swords in this woman's life that has been helping her take action to defeat you, cause towers in your life, doing some type of rituals, telling lies, hiding all kinds of stuff of what they've been doing, hiding communications. He sees you as wish fulfillment, but you're going to know this man is up to no good and he just did to cause you distress and you're going to find what? your strength and remain modest with this person and not play along with their mental games and things like that and move on because he wants to come in and give you some type of love offer. She's sending him. But the funny thing is that even though she's sending him, he does like you to some type of extent, but you're not going to reciprocate whatever this is he's trying to give you because you know you don't have a contract with someone. This is manipulation that he's doing. So this marriage card, this abundance card, you're going to choose someone else to be with and it's going to cause conflict because whoever you're going to choose to be with is who you are actually supposed to be with. This is someone that's going to support you. This is someone that the universe supports you being with. This is someone you do actually have a contract with and you two will move forward in victory on a new path and things like that, right? And this new path, look at this, will be successful. So whatever it is she's plotting, she's plotting this because she and this king of pentacles, they've been doing this for a long time to this man that she's either been married with married to a meme or has had some type of commitment to they've been milking this man for a long time and she's wanting to have some type of offer from him this is a king of pentacles that she's been playing games with milking to the bones and things like that and now he does not want to give to her because he wants to give his offer to an actual empress and he's being divinely guided to do that so that he can put an end to some type of chapter this is going to help you high priestess because this is how you're showing up this is going to help you put an end to this karmic cycle. You may not even know who these people are, but they are invested in you. Why? Because they've all been watching you and you don't know it. She's invested in ending you, but there's something that's going to be balanced out and have you in the public eye or have you very successful. Have you started some type of new beginning that will be successful as well? Like your possibilities are limitless. 
and this woman didn't want you having options. And then what I'm hearing is that you have options. You have options in love, in business, in career, in when it comes to the past and things like that you want to take. There's a king of cups taking some type of action to manipulate something or uh, someone, and he's going to be disappointed because you're going to reject this man. He's plotting on how to come into your energy to disappoint you. Someone has disappointed you before. But he's coming in to try to cause more disappointments and leave you out in the cold. So he may want to send you some type of communication about wanting to heal something with you, reconcile with you so that you two can move forward, commit to each other and things like that. You are a queen of queen of cups, queen of wands, and you are rejecting that queen, king of cups and taking a new direction. And it's going to be successful for you again. We got the sun. We got the chariot. And the fact that you're moving forward in victory and will have that ten of pentacles has people out here fighting and things like that. This is a whole, this is a whole family group of friends, friends, you know, you know, friends. How many of us have them? Very, very rare. Very few of us have these kind of friends because you never know what their true intentions are. These are not true friends. These are people that got together with one common goal, and that is to block you. I'm telling you, she's burdened about this relationship. What she's burdened about is that this man is not wanting to work with her anymore because he knows that this woman is reckless. She's out here with options. So think about you being with someone, committed to someone. You are in a marriage, and you are uh, 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 um secluded where right? exclusive thank you oh lord have mercy the coffee has not kicked in yet excuse me so you're exclusive but she's not the whole time she has a lover she may even have a couple of lovers out here right into third party relationships and things like that but she's when she's around you she pretends to be very religious very traditional she ain't traditional then you see the truth about this devilish creature and what she's been doing and you decide to dismantle this contract you say i don't want to be in this contract anymore you're not who you told me you were. You've been lying and everything like that. So he, this contract is over with the two of them because this woman is impulsive, unstable, okay? This is someone I'm hearing uses her body for favors behind the scenes. If she wants someone to do something she don't got the money to give to them, she use her body. Even if she has the money to give to them to do the favor, she'll still use her body because someone has some type of addiction, sex, uh, sexual addiction that she needs help with. She ain't willing to get the help. She's comfortable being this way. But even though she's comfortable being this way, if you were to call her loose, be a ho, 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 it bothers her. Like, I don't get it. If you don't have a problem with being some something or someone, you've committed yourself to being that. Why be bothered when people call you that? It's like a doctor going to school to be a doctor and he's good at being a doctor. And you call him a doctor and he said, don't call me a doctor. This is what she is. Like a sister done been in, in life Life has been a whole schooling of her doing this, being loose and reckless with the body because mom passed it down to her. But now you go in and say, oh, hey, Miss Loose. Uh-uh, who are you calling Miss Loose? That's disrespectful. I don't like her anymore. Let's block her platform. She's telling too much truth about me. She makes me feel uncomfortable. How dare you be modest and how dare you be uh, exclusive with your body and things like that. You're marrying in me what I don't want to see. I want people to see that I'm confident. I want people to see that I'm in the upright, that I am committal. You ain't committal. You're pretending to be committal, okay? So this contract is over, as I said, and it has her burden. Why does she? Why is she burdened? Because whoever she was in this contract with, the higher fan that's in the upright, he may be successful. She and her family and the lover, lovers, have been using him for money and now that he knows the truth because this is a karmic cycle this man has been in for a long time with his heifer he's trying to leave she comes in and you know twerk her little body you know i don't mean it literally twerk but you know she has maybe some type of silk rope on she drops the rope down now they're back in bed and he's back in this to this karmic cycle something has happened where he said nah i gotta get out of here i gotta go i can't do this with her he's out because he sees the truth he knows the truth and by everything she's been doing to keep him stuck with her it's been a long karmic cycle with these two he's he said something about loyalty like he made some type of promise or oath maybe someone is even playing with his mental and saying that you promise you will never leave me or you promise we will always be together something like that you're breaking tradition people in our family or in our religion from our tradition, our background, don't get divorces or things like that. Baby, it's all wordplay. Go on and have your new beginning, sir. Put an end to this nonsense with this Jessie Bell. 
there's a whole Jay-Z bell out here being trying to be intellectual. Now that he's wanting to leave, she's playing with his emotions. This is how it's been with them the whole time. The whole time. The whole time, the whole time. And he never knew it. He never knew it. But now you know. And if you didn't know, now you know, tricker. Sir, yeah, now you know. You know. And now this man, he knows who his true empress is. There is something that's been revealed to this man. So he's coming towards his true empress to give her an offer. Whoever it is. Okay, this could be a king of pentacles. He's been showing up a lot in the readings as a king of pentacles. And this is not someone you've ever met before, Empress. You will have a ten of pentacles with this man. It will be successful. You will move forward in victory. Okay, and when the two of you get together, what I'm hearing is you're going to be very protective of this relationship. It's going to be very secretive. People won't have the full one one on what's going on in this relationship, but it's going to be of loyalty, genuine loyalty. This is not one of those relationships where you make an oath to be loyal to one another and then someone goes and give everything to someone else, but then to just use you, use you for money and keep misrepresenting themselves. And the whole time you are committed to them, but they're committed to someone else or the rest of the community, but you. Okay. So this man is holding back. We'll be taking his commitment somewhere else. Okay. Maybe he already left. He said, chuck those deuces up. I'm out, Maria. <laughs> and she's pissed off. He said, I'm very disappointed. She told me she was, she was religious. She told me she was committal. She ain't committal. She's out here giving offers to everybody. Maybe even sick or something. Golly. Oh, now he knows everything. He said, all this time, all this time I've been investing into this woman and it has led to nothing but loss. She told me she was genuine, but she don't do nothing but tell lies. Been pretending the whole time that she and this King of Swords ain't got nothing going on. God forbid he and this King of Swords are friends. That friendship is over. Oh yeah, this King of Swords don't betray someone. Oh, baby, I ain't even getting into that. I'm not getting into that. Yeah, they betray someone heavily. They betray someone heavily. Ooh, my goodness. Back to Jesse Bell. Miss, Miss, everybody can have the pack pack. Back to you, back to you, back to you. Girls, we ain't done with you yet. We ain't done with you yet. It's only 17 minutes. Oh, yeah. The karmics are fighting behind the scenes and everything. That's the God's honest truth. They're fighting behind the scenes. Crying. She's crying. <laughs> Someone may be crying to the point where it's that booger running out of her nose. Tears everywhere. Snot sniffling everything. Wiping her eyes with her hand. The back of the hand. This could be a blonde lady. I don't know who the heck this is. But baby. Who have brown hair, blonde hair, who cares? Who knows who cares? It is what it is. Okay. Um, but they're fighting because this man wants to balance something out with you, wants to take a new direction in life. He's going in and doing some introspection. This is what they were trying to prevent this man from doing. They said, No, 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 don't leave him alone. Call him, text him, uh, email him, go see him, stop by. Yeah, go to yeah, honey. They are bothering this emperor. They said, call him. The freaking uh, wheel of fortune is my phone call card. They said, this is my communication card too. Call him, text him, email him. Stop by, drive by, go pay him a visit. Anything, do anything to stop him from self-actualizing. The whole time this, this brother done, 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 done went out. Self-actualizing everything. And he knows exactly what the heck is going on. He said, oh, no, I got to put an end to this. I'm gone. I'm taking a new direction, new path, and moving on. That brother is gone. He said, uh-uh, I'm a bachelor now. I am wishing to be with a queen of cups, and I absolutely will be communicating with her. I know what you all have been doing to cause a tower and try to defeat cause still mates, Right? Excuse me, cause still mix in this woman's life, offering people money, uh, accepting bribery, people accepting bribery to cause this person disappointment, leave them out in the cold, or have me leave them out in the cold. I am the moving on. He's the moving on. Baby, it's a woman that be watching me and she be pissed, pissed. I can't stand this mother effort. 
Can somebody please shut her up? Be out here telling everything. We can't even lie no more. Girl, yeah. I be out here exposing people's business and not even knowing it. And they, they be getting on my platform all angry. Girl, I be feeling your animosity. It just seething in you. That, just bubbling. It's a woman. Girl, that must be the true checkmate. I guess I'm telling the truth. Oh, checkmate. <laughs> you be in fear. I said, if she sees any more things, she's going to tell everything. He knows everything. I can't stand. She, calls, she must call me a mother effer a lot. Because that's the word that was going to come out. Dang, girl. I ain't a mother effer. I don't be effing my mama. Now. I love my mom. I don't do all that. No, 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 no. Be calling me all types of bees and stuff, girl. Is that true? Dang, you be calling me all kinds of names and stuff. I'm just doing my job. I don't know who you folks are. I just be doing my job. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Someone said, Shut that be down. <laughs> nah, girl, this brother needed help. I've been milking that man for years. Oh, for a long time. I don't know how long it is. But I've been milking that man for a long time. This is defeat. Oh, yeah. This is defeat. Everything I'm communicating, he knows. <laughs> I, must, I must have helped a brother out of a sticky situation. He said, I don't want to be with this Cormac anymore. I'm fed up. <laughs> He's wishing for a queen of cups. You ain't a queen of cups. <laughs> you for public. You, you public property. <laughs> You ain't heal. You've been playing a role. You are not heal. You've been playing a role. He said, I know what to do, Mom. It's okay. Mom said, you got to do this. Manipulate him. Put an end to him. Getting with that woman that's independent. That queen of cups that does her own thing. We don't got time for that. We need him to keep financing our lifestyle. I got it, Mom. I am going to get this Ace of Pentacles offer from him. I'm going to make sure he gets it from me, and we are going to be a family. No, you're not. That man is gone, gone. Oh, I said that man is gone, and the Six of Swords came back. He's gone. <laughs> that emperor is gone. He said, I'm taking my offer elsewhere. Because I'm not going to be abundant there. I want a new beginning. You can keep that raggedy ASS offer you're giving me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't told you now. I don't want it, woman. <laughs> Spirit don't want it either. They're being practical with him. They said, Mr. King of Pentacles, we got an empress for you. You're going to be very successful with her. We need you to put an end to this karmic cycle. He said, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Chuck, Chuck does do this. Queen of Wands. <laughs> that brother said, I'm on it. This cycle is over. Oh, there's an there's a empress out here? A true empress? Oh, how you doing, Miss Empress? You know, I've been wanting to come towards you, but I was trapped in my mind. I didn't know what to what say to you because you're very intellectual and you're like my dream come through. Okay, so, you know, I've been just a little bit afraid to come towards you because you seem to be a little bit too straightforward with your words and everything. So I didn't even know how to approach you. Okay. <laughs> that man said, how you doing? He's out here being Charlie Wilson. Hey, girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie. Last name Wilson. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my room. Girl, it's my number, and you can call me. And don't forget a bit. My name is Charlie. Well, it's, the name is Charlie, but you know. <laughs> yeah. And you're the healer's queen of cups. Oh, baby, here come in the communication. Here comes the communication. <laughs> Oh, my girl, is you mad? 
is you said, my sister, is you mad? Is you said, girl, you mad, mad. You mad, you mad, mad. We don't have a brother out here get on his journey. He said, I am out for Nicho. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Salud. <laughs> yeah, he said, goodbye. goodbye oh i don't got time for this i've been putting up for this forever thank you high priestess <laughs> he is out baby and he is shy about it he is celebrating oh man this man wake up every day looking forward to life he said yes yes i am free I am free and I get to be with someone or people genuine. I can actually give my offer to people that will appreciate it. And then I have manipulating me. We connect on a soul level. Oh, girl, you don't have to royally. It's a king of pentacles out here that's actually genuine. Girl, you know, most of these suckers, these king of pentacles be feeling themselves a little bit too much. Almost like the uh, king of wands. When they got a little bit of money, um, I'm too good. They are below me. I do not communicate with peasants. Ugh. What does she want? I know one like that. I know one like that. I'll be having his nose up at people because he got a little bit of money. I'll be looking at him like, Girl, sir, you ain't worth a dime. You ain't worth nothing. That little bit of money ain't done give you class. That's because he's afraid of losing all the money, folks. And if you're afraid of losing all your money, that means you must not have gotten it the right way. Anyway, very superficial. Needs to go through an ascension and refuses to do that. I just be looking at him like, sir. Mm. Okay, you're interesting. Oh, girl. This is the karmics of fighting, crying, everything. I told you she was crying. <laughs> Baby, this, this, this here is too much fun. She is crying. There go Mr. saying, hey, girl. How you doing? Hey, my name is, whatever your name is, sir. My name is Johnny. Hey, last name. Hey. <laughs> that sister is crying behind the scenes. She's crying. She is crying. Throwing temper tantrums, throwing a fit, and by a higher fin having success somewhere else. Oh, she is crying. Damn, this man want to go on with his life, give his offer to someone else, but have to be committed in a fulfilling relationship, everything he ever dreamed of. He said, this one last time, Lord, this one last time. If it don't work, then I just give up. That's what he said. Because he's tried this before. He said, this one, this is the last time. If this does not work out, I am never. He said, he ain't never giving his commitment to anyone else again. He's going to be out here with options. Sir, look, 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 sir. Lord, Lord. This is, this, this, this here ain't, this here ain't what we want for a higher fin now. If it was someone's re someone reckless out here, Cool. But this here, uh-uh. We don't want him out here being reckless and being hopeless. Okay? Being hopeless. No, 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 no. We don't want him out here being a bachelor because these bachelors just be doing too much and too much and too much out here. So we're going to need you to fix it. It looks like you don't already fix it, Lord. Lord, we know you don't already fix it. So, sir, just stay strong a little bit more. You're going to be okay. You're going to connect with your empress, whoever it is. Just stick it on through. Yeah, you're just, just hang in there. Keep on pushing forward. You'll be okay. You'll connect with your empress. And you'll be happy. And this dumb dumb here that failed you miserably and failed herself. Dropped the ball. It's a big old wrecking ball. That don't, it, it should have fell on her. That's Listen, this is going to be her. Trapped in her mind. Talking you and whoever you're about to be giving to. Mm, 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 mm. You been lying and everything. Girl, why, why you doing all that lying? Tell me, but that high priestess is devilish. 
the high priestess is lying to you. I don't be sleeping around. I didn't sleep with your friend. I didn't sleep with your brother. Girl, it's a whole high priestess in the upright. What you talking about? Bingo. She goes to a dark high priestess too. <laughs> and they've been, she's been manipulating some. Oh, nope. She's been lying to a high priestess that the woman that she's been stalking is the problem for the whole time she's the problem oh girl you've been lying to a high priestess about a high priestess you don't have to broil because when that high priestess finds out you've been lying it's a problem for you mm, you about to be oh girl you about to be stuck stuck you don't pissed off a whole high priestess and that's gonna be justice because the hierophant and the high priestess you're lying about is they is and will be getting together. Mm. And that's the God's honest truth. The high priestess you've been lying about is an empress. Oh, girl, he's still keeping his distance from you. He said, mm-mm, 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 Jesse Bell. Thank you. <laughs> I told you that high priestess is putting an end. She don't want nothing to do with you. I told girl, my fellow high priestesses that's in the upright. Baby, we we be knowing like one, two, three, A, B, C, like the back of our hand. Oh, baby, you don't piss her off. She's balancing something out. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, she is balancing it out. It's over for you. You can't come to her no more. She's refusing your offer. Don't want to work with you. Nope, because she knows the truth about who this emperor is actually supposed to be with. The queen of cups is his actual soulmate. That's why he's standing his ground and moving forward with his life. You're defeated. You don't piss off the wrong type of energy because this is someone that's very intuitive and in the upright. So she's about to weigh your behind down to make sure that these two have their new beginning. You don't act up royally. She don't want to work with you no more. And whoever, baby, I'm telling you, putting her in. She don't want nothing. She said, I don't want to do no business with you. Don't come to me with no offers. I don't want your money. I don't want your friendship. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I told you, sir, this woman goes to a practitioner. She's been doing voodoo on you. Tell me, she, she's, she's religious. She's a Christian woman. Christian where? I'm a Christian woman. Whole time manipulating. I'm telling you, manipulating. Manipulating. Playing games. Girl, you went and pissed off a high priestess? Uh-uh. Yeah, she don't put her into it to make sure that these two, whatever offer the actual uh, uh, divine feminine is supposed to receive, who is also showing up as a high priestess, receives it. It ain't coming to you. You effed up. She knows she knows. And she's bringing balance into this situation. And it's going to be a tower for you. I'm telling you, she knows. Oh, she knows. She knows. That's how you do it now. Maybe she worked with you. Or, oh, she's. I'm telling you. This woman is bringing balance into this situation. She said, we need some attunement in here, Holy Spirit. Source. Universe, I am attuning this situation. I'm going to balance it out. They said, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. We know you didn't know. We knew that you didn't know that she was the problem. But now that you know, go ahead and take care of business. We ain't holding that against you. And the high priestess you were doing stuff to, they ain't holding it against you either. But go ahead and do your thing. Do your thing. Oh, she's doing it. She is doing it. There could be a group now that's wanting to chill out. <laughs> they said, nah, we are not against that high priestess. You're the problem. You're the one that have a problem with her. We don't got a problem with her, okay? You want to pretend to be divine like she is? We don't want to with you anymore. There's too many problems going on, so we want to balance things out, okay? They want to balance things out, so when this high priestess is done with you, you're going to want to balance things out. Anyways, deuces, folks. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Hopefully, you're still here. I'm sure you will, but you're going to be going through a whole knock, a hard knock life. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.